Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the leader's world. Yes, I am back. I'm feeling great, um, especially after having a bout with COVID. Uh, I'll let you all know how everything went. It wasn't as bad. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. I Paulette got sick. She did. She, they had a revival at the church. She was working in the kitchen. This is what I assume she must have caught COVID um, during the revival at some point in time in the church because it was packed. She said it was over 100, 100 people a night at the church. And uh, let's say about a day, two days later, she started having COVID symptoms, talking about it, it was a uh, she had allergies and all this and that. And I'm like, that is not allergies, Paulette. Allergies do not cause headaches and nausea at all. So I told her to take a COVID test um, and she hadn't done it. So by day, day three, I ran and I got the COVID test from my son on my way to the um to drop off some packages you'll see that later on in the vlog because i i was vlogging during that time up until i got sick because i didn't know i was sick so i got the covid test came back she was positive within five seconds it turned positive on her and my test came back negative Okay, so the next, so I, we called the doctor that uh, the next day. I had her call the doctor. She called the doctor and uh, they put in her prescription because we all have pre-existing conditions. And when you have pre-existing conditions, they give you Provolad, something like that. Um, it's with a P and then the ends with V-I-V-D, something like that. But anyway, it's a COVID meds and you have to take within uh, five days of having COVID symptoms. Otherwise, it don't work. So I, I ran out to go get her her meds. And when I went to go get her meds, drop, I was dropping my stuff off at the post office. I felt a little tingle in my throat, just a little tingle. You got to pay attention to your body. That's what I do. I listen to my body. And so I listened to my body. I felt the tingle. And I called her and I told her I felt the tingle. She said, you're a hypochondriac. <laughs> Girl called, excuse me, y'all, I'm having a private summer over here. Uh, girl called me a hypochondriac. I said, I am not a hypochondriac. I'm telling you, it feel like I'm catching a cold or something. And I said, I just felt it just a little bit, and that's how I always know. So I went on, and I picked up her medicine for her. And then uh, on my way back, um... No, that was on my way to uh, get the COVID test. So when I went and, and she, that was on my way to get the COVID test, going back. So then when I went to get her meds, now this is the next day after she took the COVID test. The following day, um, she got an appointment with the doctor, a video appointment. And the doctor put in her prescription for the meds. He told her she just made it. It was day five. So I rushed over to Kaiser. I dropped off my packages at the post office. I put on my mask and I went on over to Kaiser and I got her prescription because remember guys, I told you I felt a little tingle in my throat the day prior. Now mind you, this is all within 24 hours. So I get to Kaiser and pick up her prescription and I'm going to Kroger because she needs, um, they said for us to get some apple juice and she wanted apple juice and um, she wanted some chicken soup, chicken noodle soup. So I run over to, uh, from there I go to, go to Kroger. Meanwhile, I'm getting weaker just from the time I left the house. I was fine. By the time I got to Kaiser, I'm feeling a little lightheaded. By the time I'm leaving Kaiser, I got a, a, a slight headache. I don't know why my phone, my camera is going out on me. So I get to um, 
Kroger. And by the time I get to Kroger, guys, why? I'm so weak, I can barely move. So I'm moving like a turtle in the store, getting the items we need. I get home, I heat up Paulette some chicken noodle soup. She's unable to eat it. And I get her situated, give her her meds. Um, so I go down in the basement. I was gonna either sleep upstairs in the, in the spare bedroom or the bed, kids' bedroom that I have downstairs. And I said, you know what? So she got COVID. I'm just going to go into the basement because I have the basement set up. If you guys want to see what how we redid the house, you can go and look at the other vlogs. So I have like a, a living room area down there and I have a bedroom area down there for my grandchildren, bathroom, everything's down there. So I just went down there and just made that my home stay. And she stayed up on the main floor and her grand and my mother-in-law stayed up on the third floor. So everybody had a section in the house where we we wasn't passing COVID to my mother-in-law. She never got COVID. So um, I went downstairs and when I tell you I got in the bed, my head was hurting me so bad. I slept the whole day and all night and my head was just banging, banging, banging. At that point, I knew I had to have had COVID. Even though my COVID test was negative, I knew I had COVID. So um, I took a COVID test the next day. It was positive. I immediately went out and uh, I didn't go out. My son went, came over and he went and got my meds by this time because he's, you know, my mother-in-law don't drive or anything and we couldn't expose her so uh, my son came over and he went and got my medicine and that's it uh, the very next day after being in bed for over 24 hours the next day i was fine and then day three is when the mucus and coughing started so if i talk like i'm talking now this is the reason i'm able to talk now when I had COVID, if I talked for more than five minutes, I would be gagging and coughing and couldn't stop. So I really couldn't really talk at all. And uh, spitting up mucus, they had me get Mucinex plus the same meds that they gave Paulette because of pre-existing conditions um, from someone like me. I have, um, excuse me guys, I have, um, you know, high blood pressure, and I'm on cholesterol medicine. And uh, then with me being overweight. So that's why I was able to get the Provolet. And it worked. It said by day five or day 10. Baby, by day five, by the day I took that last pill, I still had mucus coming up. My throat never really got sore at all. I never got the chills. I never got body aches. The only problem I had was that one day when I had the migraine headache and I slept all day because my head was hurting so bad. Other than that, um, then it was the coughing and the mucus. That was it. But my throat was never really sore. I made sure I drank tea every day. I had peppermint tea or I had um, green tea with honey every day. So at the end of this video, I will give you also my weight uh, loss update, okay? Um, right before I, right when I got COVID, I had weighed myself the next day after I got up out of the bed finally, because remember guys, I had started cutting back and everything and doing my shakes and protein shakes and trying to uh, reset my stomach. Um, and I, I hit a big number. I had hit a big number. And this was uh, right, uh, I weighed myself right when COVID set in. Um, I haven't lost weight since I weighed when COVID set in. Um, but I was happy with the number that I, I hit um, on the day that I found out I had COVID. I weighed in that morning. All right, so if this is your first time watching me, 
please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the thumbs up button. I also have set up a membership channel and you guys will be able to get, um, for anyone who pays to join uh, my membership, it, it is a fee. I don't quite remember what the fees are, but I'll have all that information in the description. I'm going to be doing like special videos for you guys over on the membership page. Once mem people start paying for the membership, I'll start uploading uh, special videos for you all, special content. And we're going to go in depth. I'm going to even talk to you all about what it was like being morbidly obese. That is something I have not really talked about. Um, and it's something that I would share with people who want to really know about how I live my life at 439 pounds. It's so much that people don't tell you when they're that size that I will be sharing on that channel. You'll get badges, uh, if, depending on your membership, it'll show your, your different badges you'll get. Um, and I'm probably going to be giving out little gifts and little prizes over, over, over on that channel. It's not probably, I will be giving out little gifts and little prizes to you guys. Um, once you join my membership and when you look, you'll see a tab and it say join and you click on that tab and that's how you join, uh, the leaders crew. And yes, that's the name of it. We are the leaders crew and we're going to have fun and I hope you all enjoy. So with that being said, I'm going to say bye for now. I hope you all enjoy the vlog with this one. I'm just going to put in a little, since this video was kind of long and this is me coming back, the footage that I have, I'm going to be uploading it. Um, I'm, I'm, I'll figure it out, but it will be being uploaded soon. I'm just going to, I got to do some editing on those uh, videos and I will also be uploading a cooking video as well. Okay. So please hit that thumbs up button. Please remember to share my videos with your friends and family. And if you're watching and you're not a member, please, it costs you nothing to subscribe. Go ahead on, hit that subscribe button, come a part of the leaders world and join the leaders crew over on the membership page. We're going to have a ball guys. I am really trying to wrap it up. And I have a video coming of the storage units that I bought. Remember you guys, I bought three storage units and I have not really been thrifting since I bought the storage units because I got so much stuff and we're gonna go over that. I hope you all enjoy. I will be having a video showing you how much I've made on the sales from the storage units. What I'm doing is I'm combining all three storage units. I paid $211 for one storage unit and $92 for one storage unit. And the third one I got for free. So um, we're going to add up those totals and then we'll see how much money profit has been made. All right. And I'm going to be sharing that on the Belita's crew page. All right. So that's going to be membership content as well. Okay, guys, with that being said, as always, remember, peace, love, and happiness is the only way to live. And thank you all for your prayers. They really work. This was COVID, but it was nothing like me even having a cold. I had colds worse than this COVID other than the day that I had my migraine headache. Bye for now. See you later. Don't forget to subscribe.